Hey, don't don't mind me. It's it's been a while. It's just it's been a couple of days. No, but in all seriousness, I, I wanted to make this video as an update on my feature film that I'm working on by myself, right? Some of you probably if you look on my channel, you have seen some of the different things that I had going on, some of the different clips that I had of my hand-drawn animation. I'm about to show you some of the clips of the digital rotoscope part of the film. Uh, during the third act of the film, everything goes digital. It just goes in with the different dynamics within the story. And so I just wanted to make this video to give an update that the reason that I am not really posting a lot of updates of the hand-drawn animation on my YouTube is because I kind of switched over doing some commentary, but also I haven't been working on the hand-drawn animation because it's kind of been on the put on the back burner because I moved to the digital rotoscope part of the story. And so right now I'm using the stop motion app to do the digital rotoscope. And that's been fun. That's been like a thing that I've been really working on. It's something that I'm developing from my last film, Bleeding Rainbows, that is highlighted on my channel. And this is this is going great. This is going well, you know. I'm not panicking. I'm not, you know constantly being humbled by life itself. Right now, I have like at least from my last video that I had, I had a little bit of attention from the fact that I had gotten like 2,000 views on one of my other videos. I have about like 11,000 pieces of paper that I've already made drawings. So it's like 11,000 different types of drawings. I'm gonna show you guys some clips of it. Uh, you guys already seen the animation in practice. Right now, what's gonna happen is I'm going to, um, do the digital rotoscope animation and I'm estimating that's going to take about like two months uh, with the way that the story is happening because I kind of veered away from the three main characters uh, there you know there's the main character Jamie that you really don't see until the second um, and third act and then there is the two main characters they're intertwined with Jamie there's the friend and then there is the ex the ex lover which was like you know the ex like he ain't really worth shit right and basically the story that i put out on my website his friend and his ex suspect that they did like the other person did it so friend did something and maybe he didn't really like jamie maybe the ex did something maybe he was jealous or maybe jamie found out that he was unfaithful who knows and basically the beginning of the film is very film noir-esque you know i wouldn't say it's committed to the film noir aesthetics um or the way that it is sculpted in cinema the way that you you would see film noir uh films but it is something that is inspired by film noir it kind of dives deeper and deeper into surrealism and absurdism and i wanted to really talk about conservatism i wanted to talk about tradition i wanted to talk about uh some of the same things that I've always talked about in my films about different issues with humanity, different issues with uh, having to go against a unrighteous deity or what if God was evil and people in that world had to fight against him. And these characters are having to fight against a character that is basically manipulating them, uh, that has all the power in the world to change their world to change their environment to manipulate them into believing certain things and the characters constantly fight that and that causes different types of conflicts as the story goes along and so you don't only see the issues happening towards jamie the friend and the ex you don't only see their particular type of problems you also see the world expand as we get to the second and third act uh, of people being affected by this antagonist that you see throughout the film. And so that's the gist of Jamie, right? Uh, a lot of the style is, I would say, liminal spaces, very cutesy. Um, I wanted to go for something a little bit more expressive. And so that's basically the updates. It's gonna be like, what I say, three to two months um, of constantly putting effort into the digital rotoscope. I'm really working hard to kind of push myself and to do something interesting. Uh, and if I get burnt out, I just take me a little break, do something else, and then I recoup and then come back because I've already committed so much into putting a lot of effort into this film. I already have like the papers just sitting out here and I'm probably gonna have to put them in storage or something because I don't want no rain or nothing to get on them. Don't want them to be exposed. 
but I put a lot into these stories. And this film is something, it's basically a passion project. It's something I really care about. It's something that I really putting a lot of my time and effort into. And I really want more eyes on it. I want to uh, talk to more black animators, especially black horror animators. Um, and so yeah, that's the gist of the story. You can see a little bit more about it on my website in the bio below and all of the other links to my TikToks where I post little updates and little animations here or there. Okay guys, this was fun. Peace out, gourmets.